We got the call on our way home that something was wrong. When we got here, we saw that the entire house was engulfed in flames. Just sitting there and looking at you, basically your whole life investment going up in flames. It did take a toll on us as a family. We got the call on our way home that something was wrong. When we got here, we saw that the entire house was engulfed in flames. Just sitting there and looking at you, basically your whole life investment going up in flames. It did take a toll on us as a family. Once we decided to rebuild, the thought came up to use the Housing Authority of Grenada. After they sent in their quotation, which we thought was very, very reasonable, we decided to go with Housing Authority of Grenada. They were very helpful. They visited the site weekly. The staff was very professional. The contractor was very professional. They delivered our house on time. The quality of work was amazing. And as you can see today, we are not disappointed. I would definitely recommend Housing Authority of Grenada for all your construction needs. With their affordable costs, high level of customer service, guidance, and building expertise, they will help you as they help us. The Parliamentary Elections Office is making it easier for you to search the voters list. You can now search the voters list online. Type into your internet browser the website address peogrenada.org. Navigate to search voters list. Enter either name and surname or registration number to obtain your registration status. By clicking the select button, an elector can ascertain exactly which polling station they are registered in. A message from the Parliamentary Elections Office. Fuel your dreams with a communal vehicle loan. It's a huge deal with super awesome rates and discounts. Get the vehicle that's just for you. Enjoy your journey. Make memories. Explore more. We're fueling dreams to your destination. It's a huge deal and it's just for you. Your destination and we'll take you there. Call or message us on WhatsApp 405-6670 or 405-2248. Let's get you where you have to be with communal and friends. This special promotion is in collaboration with The Beacon Insurance, Netherlands Insurance, Greens Automotive, RF Motors, and Specialized Automotive. We're fueling dreams to your destination. Apply today. Lending terms and conditions apply. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform, Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We'd like to say officially, welcome to one and all. Welcome to another Mikey Life program. This is it. We are ready, ready, ready to go voting tomorrow, God's willing. That's right, Grenadians will go to the polls and select who they will like to run the country for the next five years. Will that be NMP or will that be NDC? Time alone will tell. And the pleasure will be mine to be the one reporting the uh, results to you in real time. We invite you to join our broadcast at 5 o'clock tomorrow um, afternoon for real-time broadcast. Polling closes. Um, so you have to be in the line by 5 o'clock and all the polls will close at 6. We will be having real-time update from the moment the poll closes. We'll be getting our live updates and we'll be able to disseminate that to you to be able to share that with you. We want to invite you to be here early because we are going to start things early. We're going to start um, giving you some insight on how the night is going to run so that when the night is running you understand terminologies and and uh, polling stations divisions and so on when we say when we say what we say all right we'll also um try to do some other interesting things but i don't want to let the cat out of the bag because we've got copycats all over the place that we don't want to give too much uh, ideas <laughs> If you know what I mean. So anyway, this is our invitation to you again to join our broadcast tomorrow, God's willing, starting at 5 p.m. Here now are your headlines. 
We are going to be telling you from the, we are going to be hearing from the, from the Parliamentary Elections Office relating to a press release that was put out today. All right. And uh, employers, you are required by law to give time off for workers to go vote. We'll tell you about that. As well, an accident in Palmis leaves one man fighting for his life in General Hospital. And as well, um, one man lost his life, boy. You know, um, it was an accident. You know, he was a part of a, a, a motorcade and he fell and he died. Okay, so we'll tell you all about that and more when we return on tonight's Mikey Live program. We just say when we come back, it could be real news. In Oli Lili Lolo, so brace all yourself. Um, remember that the headlines is brought to you through the kind compliments of Quotes Grenada Limited, Digicel, Nawasa, the Housing Authority of Grenada. We've also got Real Value IG Supermarket. Um, um, all right. Um, I said that you, you will need to be in the line by 5 o'clock. All right. Um, but they are actually going to close off things uh, at six. And of course, we want to make sure that you are there. All right. In the line for people who are four o'clock walkers and you think, you know, ting, 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 ting. So folks, we're going to tell you more about that when we come back. Okay. Um, any sort of clarity that you want and so on. We have the parliamentary elections office, um, who is going to talk to us about that as well. Okay. So we're coming back in a moment. Folks, this is it right there. This is it. The moment that you've been waiting for is tomorrow you go early tomorrow morning six o'clock in the morning pull open you go and you cast your ballot early you understand for some of you who know that you have a lot to do in the day because you don't know what the turnout will be like next thing you end up in long 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 lines so anyway all you take all the time you hear papa we're coming back when we come back it'll be real news in Oli Lili Lolo. Again, the headlines has brought you to the kind compliments of Coats Grenada Limited, Digicel Nawasa, the housing authority of Grenada, Real Value, IJ Supermarket, Superb Distributors. All right. And we've got the pathways on board as well. So we're just going to take a, um, a quick one and uh, be right back. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store now has amazing deals, special discounted prices on wedding sets, watches and selected jewelry. We sell top brand jewelry and watches like Citizen, Guess and Klein and G-Shock all at the best prices in Grenada. We also buy scrap gold and offer the best deals and customer service on the island. Opening hours Mondays to Saturdays 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store located at the Esplanade Mall, St. George's, Grenada. Visit our brand new remodeled store or call us on telephone number 414-3114-232-1234 or WhatsApp 533-1581. Sale is on for a limited time only. 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 Iman. When we come online, you only juking up your phone, juking up your phone? Yeah, boy. Now, what's I say? They have an app. I can't find it. I check Play Store. I do a Google search. I can't find it. Man, I get fed up, man. <laughs> nah, man. Because you look in the wrong place. The app is web-based. Web-based? Yes. You access it via your web browser, right? You can add it to your home screen or your desktop, like any regular app. Watch. Look, I have it on my phone. Right? And you can access it or add it to any device, your computer, your tablet, any device. Well, how are I doing that and I can't find it? Okay, watch. All you have to do is open your browser, right? And type mobile.nawasa.gd. And voila, you see? Eh, just so? Yes, and you can download it or access it via the web. Once you have a reliable internet connection, right? You can run the app anywhere, anytime. So, how I adding that to my home screen? Right, so you click on those three dots, right? Or your web browser setting and look for the option to install app or add to home screen. Easy peasy. Well, thank you. Now I could help Auntie June because she was having the same problem too. The Nawasa app, versatile, fast paced and always up to date because it's web based. So Auntie June won't always have to install update. Once a change is made to the app, 
it updates automatically, no hassle. Well, that's a good thing. Mobile.nawasa.gd, your customer support companion. Pathway Restorative Wellness Clinic exists to improve the lives of children, adults, and older clients with a range of diagnoses not limited to autism, stroke, arthritis, brain injuries, and depression, which hinder their ability to perform everyday tasks such as dressing, feeding, toileting, and grooming. Our licensed occupational therapist uses science, creativity, and compassion to design a client-specific care plan that restores and maintains skills required for daily living, work, and school. The Pathway Clinic is located on Morris Bishop Highway, but we extend services to schools and homes. Contact us at 473-422-7232. All right, again, family members, uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you to the team at the Pathways. All right, great job, Iman. So um, we just have a few notices to tell you about before we get into the hardcore news. Now we've got a, a piece for you from the NIS. All right, please note that effective September 1st, 2022, all employers will be required to submit their remittances via the NIS web portal. Now, employers can create their business web portal account on my.nisgrenada.org. That's my.nisgrenada.org. For more information, you can call also 440-3309 or WhatsApp 4586060. Or you can email customer service at nisgrenada.com. Now, today, Nadma Boy, they put out the, the list of shelters for Grenada Carrier Coup and PT Martinique. Now, it's a very lengthy list, so we will not even attempt um, to go through that list here on the program because, I mean, we'll finish tomorrow, God's willing, you know, and we don't want that. So what we can invite you to do is to check out our website, MikeyLive.com. It's there already, or you can just check out our Facebook page. It's there. Now, we are saying congratulations to... Jonathan Jeremiah, Nicholas Redhead, and Darrell Cyrus on going um, and, and they're gaining and moving to a further step in their life, in their career, in their sporting career, um, gaining contracts for the first time with the Windward Islands Volcanoes for the period 2022 to 2023. All they give them a clap now, give them a clap. You know, you know all the time you have to tense, tense, tense news, you know what I mean? Now, Preston McSween, um, his contract was renewed for another year. And Shemron Lewis, um, he also regained a contract with the team. And so this is us now extending a congratulations um, to them. All right. While we are in sports, the Grenada Football Association, they're having their summer of uh, soccer that's going to run from July 11th, 2022. Boys and girls ages 6 to 16. Um, that club, that, that, that this is going to go nationwide, all right? And of course, um, they, they continue to do what they have to in, in, in scouting for talent and in keeping the young stars engaged, particularly with football, all right? So um, this is something that you need to um, keep your eye on as well. Very, very interesting. Okay, so there are, there are some rules that we need to tell you about as it relates to voting, all right? The sale or... Giving of alcohol during the hours um, for polling, it is prohibited. So no selling of alcohol and no giving of alcohol. Any employer um, who denies an employee adequate time for the purpose of casting their votes at the ballot, you have committed an offense. The Parliament, Parliamentary Elections Office they are warning against that, mm -hmm. that you are required to give your employees time to it vote. It is an offence. And one of the election offence, section 83, if an employer refuses to give an employee time, you know, to cast the ballot. So we are encouraging all employers to, to pay attention to the section and, and remember it's an offence to deny someone that opportunity to cast his or her ballot. So we trust that employer and employees will work out 
you know, a reasonable time, but not to deny anyone. Uh, um, we heard that um, even some workplaces are threatening to, to deduct from, you know, people's pay or wages. That is also illegal. It's addressed in 83. So we ask em employers to pay attention to that and to make sure that everyone is given that right to cast their ballot. That's Mr. Elvis Moraine. I also was told by a young, a young lady today that her, her employer um, was threatening her um, uh, if she goes to take time to go vote, then, they, then, then there's the deduction that's going to be coming out of their salary. And so you've heard just now from the supervisor of ele elections, Mr. Elvis Moraine, saying that you are required to so do, failing which you could get yourself a lock up. Listen, report your worker. That's all right. They can't do you nothing. Report them. You understand? Report them if they deny you of the opportunity um, to cast your ballot. Now, you are required by law to not ask anyone who they voted for on election day. If you so do and they complain, then you can be charged, arrested and charged. That is an offense. Loitering within the 100 mark, 100 yard mark before, well, after you have cast your ballot, that too is illegal. All right? Use of loudspeakers, banners, etc., um, asking persons to vote for a particular candidate, that also is prohibited. Having political signs and banners, that needs to be removed within the 100 yard mark by midnight tonight. All right? Um, so all the paraphernalias and all that stuff that's within the, the areas of the voting, um, that these things will need to be taken down by midnight tonight. As we move on, a press release coming from the Parliamentary Elections Office seemed to have stirred up things this morning. That's right. Um, for some, they complained that it was inconsistent with things that they've heard prior, as well as it being a little unclear and misleading. Many of you would have already um, had, uh, had the opportunity um, to see that press release and to provide some clarity to that. We have again with us uh, from the Parliamentary Elections Office, Mr. Uh, Elvis Moraine, who is the Supervisor of Elections, and uh, they say that they wanted to provide some sort of clarity to the press release. I am here to offer clarity and a press release that came from the Parliamentary Elections Office this morning. And it seemed to be, you know, getting a stir on social media and otherwise. Let me first of all say this, this press release came in the backdrop of something we saw also in circulation. That is relative to pieces of IDs that person can present, passport and so on, which is sort of misleading because the act only recognize the voter's identification card for verification. But um, paragraph three of that, um, of that press release, detailed as an extract from the act, that's what the act says, section 59.5, right? So that, that's what it says. But some people had some doubt as to whether or not it is saying that they cannot vote without the ID. Let me say, first of all, that your right to vote is inherent on you being registered. So once you've been registered, your right to vote is secured. That's the first thing. Now, the, the, the card is used for verification, all right? Now, verification, that is within our system. And therefore, the only form of verification that is used is the card. However, it goes on to say that, you know, questions that the presiding officer would put to you, right, if you didn't have a card. So it didn't say if you don't have a card, you can't vote. And I want people to get that off their mind. The, 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 the press release in no way is indicating that if, you, if, you, if, you, um, if anyone doesn't have a card, a voter's card, they cannot vote. Remember I said earlier that what is important is once you are registered. All right? Most of the time, for verification, people in the office, agents, poll clock, presiding officers can recognize someone, all right? But once those questions are put to you in terms of a new, for example, and I want to explain the first one, A says that if a card was not issued to you and how that is done. For instance, if somebody has not collected the card, it means therefore that that person wouldn't have a card. 
but you know you're registered, but the card wasn't issued. Or maybe somebody, someone's card is lost on the way, or you just can't find it. Right? So you're allowed to vote. All right? It's just an extract from the act. Right? But what is most critical that people must live with is once you are registered. So no one should be afraid in turning up if you didn't have a card with you is once your name is on the list. That's the most important factor. So I just want to just rest the, let the public rest assured that once your name is on the list, you are entitled to vote. The card is for the verification process. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Elvis Moraine. He is the um, supervisor of elections. Of course, there's a website, and of course, we've been playing the, the PSA, the Public Service Announcement, where you can go peogrenada.org, where you can actually put your name in there, and then you can see the, you're registered. All right? And so, um, who will win election tomorrow? Who will it be? No more campaigning, all that ceases tonight. And um, it's now a matter of people going out there and casting their ballot. Listen, there are polls here and polls there and polls everywhere. What matters is where you put your mark tomorrow. God's willing, make sure it clear and well defined. No double mark, a single mark, and you hit it. You put your X by the thing, wherever that thing is, whatever that symbol is. However, there are some who attempted to stop the election from happening tomorrow. Injunct injunctions were being filed. And here is a group, and they are giving their justification as to why it shouldn't happen tomorrow. Yes, the ICCR, the Independent Caucus for Constitutional Reform, the Grenada Empowerment Movement, and POWER, and we saw it fit in examination of our electoral process for this general election that is scheduled for the 23rd of June, 2022, that this specific election is violating our constitution and representation of the People's Act mm -hmm. on several fronts. It wasn't one or two that we could turn a blind eye to, but significant violations. The thing is, our election's intent is that we have free, fair election in a democratic process. Well, the 23rd of June's election is not really free, fair, and democratic. Mm -hmm. And why is it not? Because, unfortunately, many of our potential voters have been robbed of the opportunity to voice in this democracy. And by default, that means that our process isn't democratic. Mm -hmm. And then the real question is, why don't they have the opportunity to voice? Because, contrary to our constitutional requirements, which are prescriptions, like you take a drug, based on those prescriptions, our election was not called and was not administered, nor operated, nor being operated, as prescribed by the laws. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, I did have a conversation with the Governor General after she had ignored several of my phone calls, several our, our letter that we sent requesting an appointment and outlining our, our concerns. I had a conversation with her yesterday and her attitude to our constitution was very blasé, disappointingly so. As a matter of fact, she concluded that elections fall under the governance of the Governor General's office, under the authority of the Governor General's office. And, and she went on to say a lot more that, you know, it's just a lot of things that needs to be done and done and done and done and done. However, uh, the, the last update that we've got is that they withdrew, they withdrew their, um, their attempt to have, well, their injunction um, for whatever reason. All right. Um, Miss, use, use, use Miss Power. Well, I'll say it is there. <laughs> you don't want somebody to run in your party. You know? I don't mind running in your party, you know, Miss. Okay, they have it. What well, I say it is a small party. And uh, you might want a few uh, help uh, somebody to run in a constituency. Uh, you know, and if you were, if you are Miss Power, what I'm saying is <coughs> um yeah, I might have some time. You know what I mean? Around the next you know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, you know, I would like to serve my country, you know, by running in your party. Yeah, I mean, so we could talk. We could talk the things when you anyway, lady that talk. <laughs> yeah, no! Anyway, oh yeah. 
So there are several petitions. I think Rolo did one, that one will work. And then, anyway, let me that talk. Well, so let's get on to some more serious basic stuff, right? Let me forget about the, the thing, thing, thing. Um, we, are, we are getting reports that one man succumbed to injuries sustained um, following an incident that happened on Sunday. Um, according to our source, he was part of a, a political motorcade in St. David and uh, he fell from a vehicle and he later died. In fact, he died last night, you know, and that's, that's, that's really tragic, you know, because I know you, you go out to have fun, you go out to support your party and then, um, you know, the incident occurred. Um, he was hospitalized and then um, reports reaching our desk um, confirmed by the police, by the way, is that he died, you know? Wow. There was another incident that took place last night, in fact. Um, that incident happened at Palmist. Um, it was a serious um, smash-up. And uh, we, we understand that uh, one man is critically injured. In fact, he's fighting for his life um, following, following this, this, this incident that, that happened last night at Palmist. Um, well, you for yourself, you, you can have a look at, at this particular um, that incident there. Um, one of the, the, the persons, in fact, the person who's critically injured in was critically injured in that accident is Lister. He's one of the entertainers and one of the, the comedians and so on. And, um, I think he, he recently was part of uh, one of those Calypso shows at the Spice Basket, um, the, uh, the Calypso competition, well, Calypso Extempo Flavors. Was it Flavors? Yes, Flavors of Calypso, you know? And so we wish him all the best and uh, speedy recovery, in fact, you know, and all the others who were involved in this uh, particular accident that took place at Palmist yesterday. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just crazy. Um, the last update that I got that he was at a, the intensive care unit at the um, General Hospital again. Um, we extend um, best wishes to, to him and to, to all the others who were affected as a result of, of this accident or this incident that took place at um, at Palmis in 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 Saint John, it's really crazy out there, you know. Um, so, guys, please be extremely careful. Be extremely careful, you know, when when going out and so on. You know, you have to look out for those who are not looking out for you. And you know, in these busy times, you have to be extra, 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 extra attentive um, on the road. You know what I mean? But yeah, boy. Ah, yeah, that one tough. So earlier today we saw a lot of people were wishing him all the best, uh, best wishes and so on. You know, so we are also going to join with them in saying the same. All right, young man. So all the best, uh, speedy recovery. I guess if you see that, it will feel like a better. So you see, we, we are thinking about you and wishing you all the best on the program. So hopefully that adds to your recovery. All right. Good job. You go make it. Yeah, you know I mean, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah, um, we are moving on. Let me see if I got an update here. All uh, right. Okay. So the the next thing that we have to tell all your boy. Um, let me see. All right, we're scrolling. Uh, there are so many things that we're losing time, so we have to organize. So yes. And again, while I do that, I, I just like to remind you guys that we will be um, doing our our hmm, broadcast as early as five o'clock tomorrow. Okay, so from five p.m. we will be doing our broadcast here on Mikey Live or Election Broadcast. I want to invite you and all your family members. All right, remember this probably will be the only real time reporting of the election, like real time. I can tell you there will be no other, and I, I listen, I don't say this loosely. I don't say this loosely. There will be no other network that will be able to give you the election results as quickly as us. Ac 
accurately and no chatter. No talk, 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 talk. Just numbers and graphs in a window that will belong to you. That you when, we, when we give you a window, that window is yours. And we will be having pure numbers and graphs, just as we did the last election. All right? We will have it down for you. Um, and uh, we invite you to be part of the broadcast. Now, we move on. The Ministry of Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information huh, informs the public of the transfer request of procedures for, the 20, for 2022. And they, they say there are specific grounds for that. Transfers will be allowed under the following conditions. We probably will go through just a few. Uh, for a student to be transferred from the first school assigned to another, at least one of the following criteria must be met. The ability of space, now that is key. First off, the school must have space in accordance with the um, 135 teacher for pupil ratio. All right? Now, um, uh, vacated space. Now, where a student has vacated an assigned placement at the school for which a transfer is required. Now, other special conditions hinged on A and B, but not limited where the following conditions apply. Medical and or psychological conditions, underlining conditions with uh, proven history and records, as well as uh, change in residence where the student now resides closer to the preferred school and proof is required. All right. Now, um, a, a, uh, a transfers. So no procedures for transfer request. Transfers. The following procedures will apply when um, requesting transfers for students. Now, a parents or guardians shall apply for transfer electronically via a specific link, which we'll post it on our page for you. Okay. Secondly, the applications or the application form should be completed by the 1st of July 2022, no later. Also, the application will be reviewed by a CPEA transfer committee comprised of the manager, the principal, the vice principal of that school, and uh, also chaired by the principal. Now, the, 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 the school's CPEA transfer committee will meet and submit their recommendations to the Ministry of Education through the Office of the Chief Educational Officer no later than two weeks after the results are published. Recommendations received after the deadline will not be considered and principals will send all recommendations for transfers to the Ministry of Education through the Office of the Chief Educa Educational Officer for final approval. All right, and there are more and more and more, but we've um, we'll just kind of like summarize it and you can actually check out our website um, for more details on that. So there seems to be a very interesting development in Jamaica. A person of interest um, has been uh, held by police, all right, in the killing of a mom and four children. You understand? Yes, that's right. I don't know if you've been following that, but the person of interest in the savage killing of a, um, a mother and her four children is now in custody in Jamaica. Uh, is a 23-year-old, um, believed to be a cousin of the deceased. He's been held. Um, for questioning with, with regards to the killing. And listen, you know, when, whenever I see this story, it breaks my heart. An entire family, Kamisha Wright and her four children, a 15-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 5-year-old, a 23-month-old, they were all found with their throat slashed Tuesday morning at their home. You understand? Now that mass killing sent shock waves across the country because I mean children. You understand? A 15 year old, 
a 10 year old. You understand? A girl, 15 years. Another girl, 10 years old. You understand? And, the, and then the five year old girl, and then the little boy who's 23 months. A cousin in Jamaica. You understand? I don't want to tell you, I feel like a whole parcel. You know, when you, when you think about those things, you know, it's like, what going on, boy? Hmm? The copycatting thing, huh? You know what I mean? Make me sick. Sick, 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 sick. Anyway, folks, I see that we're running out of time, so give me a five minutes. Let me take a quick break. Let me drink some water and then come back on the program. Next time, pass out the intro. You know, it's like, what going on with us, boy? You know, what going on with us, boy? Listen, I even watch social media today, eh? and you wonder, you like you wonder. Let me just address this for a while before we go on the break. You just wonder what's happening with our people. People are fighting all you over politics, fighting, breaking up friendships, breaking up relationships over politics. But then to what end? To what end? You have your, 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 your preferences. Another man have their preference. Why can't you just respect that? Why you are why you're seeing their decision as a flawed decision and your decision is perfect? But how? How do you blame somebody from having a different opinion? How, how do you hold somebody in a, in a negative regard because their opinion differs from yours? Like how? Who says you're right and they're wrong? Why it is you don't expect them to be upset with you? Why? This is it, you know. How it is you are so arrogant in your mind to perceive someone to be dumb or stupid because they are on an opposite side of an opinion than you are. But you're not willing to give them that same right to see you as flawed, you know, you know thought about a, political, a, a, a particular political party. You're not willing to give them that same right. But how? Listen, I've never seen, listen, I've been around for a while. I mean, I don't all like that, but I've been, I've never seen the level of foolishness in my life. I mean, I know people say things about politics and, and, and silly this and silly season and, and dotish nation. I've never seen that in my life. You have people wearing party colors, political colors, right? And they're cursing you for hiding who you are. They're cursing you for hiding who you're supporting. They don't even want to give you the benefit of being subtle about who you support. While they are out there campaigning or like openly supporting a, polit a, a political party. So you're hiding who you are. You're hiding who you're supporting. You're trying to be very subtle. Man go out to guess, but they, they, they can't know for sure. But they cross seen you because they think you are somewhere. While they themselves are out in the open. But how? You're not even giving a man a right to be subtle. While you're out in the open, busting who you're supporting. But how? Like, the level... I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like, <laughs> listen, eh? When I tell you the thing puzzling me. When I tell you the thing puzzling me. Eh? It puzzling me. So in other words, once you support a once you support a, a particular political party, you're stupid. You don't. You're unpatriotic. But how? How? People. 
Listen, Peter David was once an NDC. If that is not enough to show you that, you understand? What's the other one name? Um, what you name? What you name? What you name? Tobias Clement was once an NMP. What there's only one? Ali Dowden was once an NDC. What else only want to show you that nothing is written in stone where these people are concerned? One man could be here today and the, over there as a candidate. So who are you as a supporter to be fighting each other? It makes no sense, people. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It just puzzles me. And poor Mikey getting caught in the crossfire. Poor Mikey get. You have people who come to me for every single news item. Every single thing. Once you know they are Mikey life, I don't want to hear it. Once Mikey life does say it, it's not true. Once Mikey life say it, it's gospel. But then election comes and then you question my credibility. You question my ethics where reporting is concerned within the last two months or within the last month because of politics? What happened? Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. It baffles me. Crazy. Like, loco. <laughs> I don't understand it. For politics, boy. All yeah, at the end of the day, whoever political party comes into power or stays into power, if they don't want to fix the road, they don't fix it. If they want to fix that road instead of that one, that's what they do. You really think it matters that much? Why you say? Maybe to some extent. You understand? Hear me out. We are all Grenadians. We are all Grenadians. And whoever gets elected, we will have to deal with them for the next five years. You will still need your neighbor. You will still need your friend. You will still need your co-worker. You know what I'm saying? In less than 24 hours. Yes. That too shall pass. And somebody texts me. That too shall pass. And I go see. Are you, listen, are you with me? I go by the doctor yesterday. I say, doc. I say, doc, watch that. Let me hear it. Tell me. You know what I mean? Because I don't know how far I reach on the scale. Just tell me if I could take another few days of that. You know, because sometimes I don't want to say a thing, you know, but you know, you have to be professional. I say, I'm professional. Because sometimes I just want to say, yo, you know, just go straight. Don't cut around the bushes. Just tell people straight because sometimes that's the only language some people could understand. You understand? So I say, Doc, I say, Doc, listen, what's going on? I have a problem. Doc say, what's your problem? I say, Doc, you are going on? Sometimes when I look at a situation, I think, I just talk to myself. But Doc, I reached the point where I can't talk to myself again. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to talk out. Yeah, I mean, I said, so Doc said, what's going on with you? I said, well, Doc, I find a feeling like in a certain way. Doc said, well, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, doctor said, Mikey, you know what I mean? They give me tablet. Look, look, the doctor give me tablet. You know what I mean? The doctor give me tablet. Because they're raising me pressure, dog. <laughs> they're raising me pressure. <laughs> I'll make it on my belly hurt me. Yeah, that the doctor say I know what you have. You know, babe, but here I calm down. You know, say take a two tablets. Let me belly stop hurt you. You know what I mean? Take a two tablets. Yeah, and stop drinking them. Them how they call it in the name. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> in less than twenty-four hours, it was wrong to find down so we would have already announced. The winner of the next election, and then some of our, some people will want to say, "Hey, Mikey, all things are said, don't come in." <laughs> yeah, that's how anyway, lady that talk. Only, I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't know how we got to that point, 
that kind of tension and, and silliness. But yo, that wasn't that was no boy, nah boy, that one, nah, mm -mm, that one ain't good, mm -mm, that one ain't good. But I'm happy that it's almost over. I mean, you know, your boy would have liked to walk some more, you know. But anyway, all good things, all good things must come to an end. Yeah, I mean, and in that case, you know, no more campaign, boy, you know. Anyway, but a small thing, you know. Just just remember that we remain open for business. Yeah, I mean, if you have like a live and thing you want to do and stuff and you want it done professionally, if you want drone coverage and you want it professionally done, yeah, so and we can do that for you as well. And you know I mean, if you want to use our platform to 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 publish some of your content, uh, whether you're a business or you're individual, you you have a, a book that you you know you, you want to launch and thing like that, check us. I mean, and here's what we do: if you're not satisfied, eh? and that's the thing, you all don't know. If you're not satisfied as a client, we will discuss a refund. You know, because that's what we do. Yeah, so if you're not very satisfied, we could talk about, you know, a refund. And yeah, what do you think? You could keep the recording, you could keep everything. If you don't like what we, you know, the, st the standard of work that we did, I mean, that's what we do. Yeah, so, and so, yeah, so and there's a reason for the business. Yeah, so, and so anyway, all the way taking a break, and we are coming back. When we come back, by the way, we'll have for you the national report. We'll also have the weather for you. So remember, one of the key things, one of the key takeaways for tonight's program, remember that once your name is on the list, you can, you're eligible to vote. Full stop. This ID talk and ID talk and ID talk and ID talk, it helps with the process of verification of your identity but it's not necessarily required, 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 required for you to go out there and cast your ballot. So don't let nobody tell you otherwise, right? You do your ID, you forget your ID, like, you know, ting, 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 ting. And if your ID, they far, and they say, oh gosh, at our time, so I don't go in and vote. No, 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 no. If you don't have your ID because you forgot it, or because somehow, ting, 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 still show up at the polls, um, they will ask you a few questions, they will verify your identity, and then your name is on the list, you vote it. Remember that there will be agents in the um, polling stations. Eh? The presiding officer must know you. If the presiding officer don't know you, the agents must know you. Somebody, they must be able to verify your ID. Just like when you go to the bank. You understand? So don't worry yourself. You don't have your ID thing, your ID expire. Remember, if you have an expired voter's ID, that too is still um, good, good for you to go vote tomorrow. You have your, your, your expired card, just present that and I walk through like a boss. You know, and put your ex by the, <coughs> you know, put your ex by your symbol. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, the story ended where Ben we're taking a break and we'll be right back. I'm going to say big up to the doctor, <laughs> Dr. Martin, you know what I mean? And Dr. Um, all the doctors, in fact, Dr. Taisha Donald, um, Dr. Martin. I'm going to say hello to you as well. All right. And um, yeah, uh, Dr. I mean, all the doctors, uh, you know, the medical doctors are talking about, you know, they're big up all the whole self, right? Dr. Marisho as well, blessings to you as well. You know, if my fingernail get too dark, I call them doctors, and I was called two and three, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I tell you, if me, me hit the rumble, I call it a doctor. I just call them, and I think them people might just get real hard with me when I call it. You know what I mean? Telling all you, when my belly start to me, I say, doctor, Martin, what's going on? I find my belly out to me, is it my key? I know I'm going out with you. Anyway, I'll be back coming back. We got the call on our way home that something was wrong. When we got here, we saw that the entire house was engulfed in flames. Just sitting there and looking at you, basically your whole life investment going up in flames. It did take a toll on us as a family. Once we decided to rebuild, the thought came up to use the Housing Authority of Grenada. After they sent in their quotation, which we thought was very, very reasonable, we decided to go with Housing Authority of Grenada. They were very helpful. They visited the site weekly. The staff was very professional. The contractor was very professional. They delivered our house on time. The quality of work was amazing. And as you can see today, we are not disappointed. I would definitely recommend Housing Authority of Grenada for all your construction needs. With their affordable costs, high level of customer service, guidance, and building expertise, they will help you as they help us. The Parliamentary Elections Office is making it easier for you to search the voters list. You can now search the voters list online. 
Type into your internet browser the website address peogrenada.org. Navigate to search voters list. Enter either name and surname or registration number to obtain your registration status. By clicking the select button, an elector can ascertain exactly which polling station they are registered in. A message from the Parliamentary Elections Office. Fuel your dreams with a communal vehicle loan. It's a huge deal with super awesome rates and discounts. Get the vehicle that's just for you. Enjoy your journey. Make memories. Explore more. We're fueling dreams to your destination. It's a huge deal and it's just for you. Your destination and we'll take you there. Call or message us on WhatsApp 405-6670 or 405-2248. Let's get you where you have to be with communal and friends. This special promotion is in collaboration with The Beacon Insurance, Netherlands Insurance, Greens Automotive, RF Motors, and Specialized Automotive. We're fueling dreams to your destination. Apply today. Lending terms and conditions apply. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform, Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store now has amazing deals, special discounted prices on wedding sets, watches and selected jewelry. We sell top brand jewelry and watches like Citizen, Guess and Klein and G-Shock all at the best prices in Grenada. We also buy scrap gold and offer the best deals and customer service on the island. Opening hours Mondays to Saturdays 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store. Located at the Esplanade Mall, St. George's, Grenada. Visit our brand new remodeled store or call us on telephone number 414-3114-232-1234 or WhatsApp 533-1581. Sale is on for a limited time only. only. Just as we are emerging from the global COVID-19 pandemic, Fresh challenges lay on the horizon, and with a war in Europe inducing global inflationary pressures and global supply chain issues adding to a complex economic environment, this moment calls for experienced leadership and steady hands. Do not chance the future in these dangerous times. The new National Party has a team built to navigate tough times and to bring the nation to safer waters. Vote NMP. Safer Hands. Spice Mass is back! back. back. And Grenada Distillers Limited wants you to win big, big with its bottleneck promotion. With every purchase of pure white or special dog, you are automatically entered for a chance to win. Win, win. tickets to Soka Mona. Win, free costumes. Win, bottles of Clark Scott Rum. Grenada's number one. Win, cold hard cash. And more. Simply write your name, address, and contact details at the back of this bottleneck. And insert in the boxes at participating outlets and the Clark Scott sales van. Win. win. Big for Spice Mass with Clack Scott, Grenada's number one rum. Rich, smooth, delicious, and packed with vitamins. That could only be one thing. It's a Rika Almond Beverage. Great on its own are a lovely addition to smoothies. So call Superb Distributors on 435-2948 or visit us at Tempe St. George's today. Remember, Rika is life and life is Rika. Do you need to get one of these tests done at an affordable price? Well, look no further. Visit Allied Laboratories by Fit for Life today. We offer VDRL, CBC, ANA, Rheumatoid Factor, D-Dimer, Trop 1, 
HbA1c, PTINR, and PTT. Call one of our branches today, conveniently located at Grenville and Granats, and one of our staff members will be happy to assist. Please note that there are over 200 tests available, and these are only a few. So call today and book your appointment. Welcome to Yogo. Most of you know us for our food delivery service and our food pass for free delivery from restaurants. But did you know you can also use us for grocery deliveries too? We've just added another 5,000 plus new items to Yogo Supermarket. And stay updated as we add more products and vendors. Yogo Services is our convenient skip the line offering. Let us pay your electric, water, and other utility bills for you. With us, you will be able to buy tickets, pay your rent, schedule bookings, and other services. Need a ride to get somewhere? Give Yogo Lift a try. Select your pickup location and destination location and wait for our driver to collect you. Never have to worry about how you're going to get to a place again. Please see website or app for our service locations. And sign up now. Parliamentary Elections Office assures that no registered person will be denied the right to vote. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Wednesday, June 22nd, I am Rikisha St. Louis. Supervisor of Election Elvis Moraine says no Grenadian who is registered with the Parliamentary Elections Office will be denied the right to vote on June 23rd. The Elections Office on Wednesday published a press release which addressed the issue of what identification card is accepted on Election Day. The release states, and I quote, that any elector who holds an expired ID card with an expiration date January 31st, 2020, can present such card when requested to present his or her identification card. Unquote. Social media has since been abuzz with comments and concerns about whether or not individuals will be allowed to vote without a voter's ID card in their possession. Mr. Maureen states that one's right to vote is determined based on his registration status. This press release came in the backdrop of something we saw also in circulation that is relative to pieces of IDs that person can present, passport and so on which is sort of misleading because the act only recognizes the voter's identification card for verification. But um, paragraph three of that, um, of that press release detailed as an extract from the act. That's what the act says, section 59.5, right? So that, that's what it says. But some people had some doubt as to whether or not it is saying that they cannot vote without the ID. Let me say first of all that your right to vote is inherent on you being registered. So once you've been registered, your right to vote is secured. That's the first thing. Now the, the, the card is used for verification. All right. Now verification that is within our system and therefore the only form of verification that is used is the card. The Representation of People's Act makes accommodation for individuals who are registered but may not have a voter's ID in their possession. Maureen explained that the presiding officer will determine whether or not the individual can vote once they have not been issued a card or it was destroyed or lost. Most of the time, for verification, people in the office, agents, poll clock, presiding officers can recognize someone. All right, but once those questions are put to you, 
in terms of, and you, for example, and I want to explain the first one. A says that if a card was not issued to you, and how that is done. For instance, if somebody has not collected the card, it means, therefore, that that person wouldn't have a card. But you know you're registered, but the card wasn't issued. Or maybe somebody, someone's card is lost on the way, or you just can't find it. Right? So you're allowed to vote. All right? It's just an extract from the act. Right? But what is most critical that people must live with is once you are registered. So no one should be afraid in turning up if you didn't have a card with you is once your name is on the list. That's the most important factor. As Grenadians prepare to go to the polls on June 23rd, the Parliamentary Elections Office reminds the business community and other employers that every worker has the right to vote. Supervisor of Elections Elvis Moraine told GIS that the office has been receiving complaints from workers of threats by employers to deduct from their salaries once time is given to vote. Moraine warns that this is an illegal act that must not be encouraged. He called on employers and employees to formulate a plan to accommodate voting that will in no way hinder the operation of the service provided. It is an offence, and one of the election offence, section 83, if an employer refuses to give an employee time, you know, to cast the ballot. So we are encouraging all employers to, to pay attention to the section and, and remember it's an offence to deny someone that opportunity to cast his or her ballot. So we trust that employer and employees will work out you know, a reasonable time, but not to deny anyone. Uh, um, we heard that um, even some workplaces are threatening to, to deduct from you know, people's pay or wages. That is also illegal, it's addressed in 83. So we ask em employers to pay attention to that and to make sure that everyone is given that right to cast their ballot. This is the National Report. The news will continue after the break. The Parliamentary Elections Office is making it easier for you to search the voters list. You can now search the voters list online. Type into your internet browser the website address peogrenada.org. Navigate to search voters list. Enter either name and surname or registration number to obtain your registration status. By clicking the select button, an elector can ascertain exactly which polling station they are registered in. A message from the Parliamentary Elections Office. Welcome back. Members of the Royal Grenada Police Force encourage Grenadians to exercise their constitutional rights by participating in Thursday's general election in a responsible manner. Senior officers told members of the media on Tuesday that the intention is to ensure a smooth, incident-free process from the time the polls are opened until the 5 p.m. closure. Police officers will be deployed at every polling station on election day to ensure that law and order are maintained. ASP Simon Douglas, second in charge of the Eastern Division, and ASP Desmond Richard, head of the Community Relations Division, appealed for order during and after the casting of ballots. Appeal to every Grenadian to be responsible, be patriotic to respect the views and opinions and preferences of every other person. And overall, to behave in a way that will, will, will allow us to have a smooth democratic election process 2022. It's only one day away from the election. And um, so far, we have had very minimal complaints regarding um, uh, violence as such. And so we are appealing to all persons, all Grenadians. At the end of the day, we are still human beings and we are still friends and we must still relate. To go out there, make your decision behind your box, but that it, when you come from there, let's all sit, laugh, talk, and enjoy life that God has given us. Members of the Royal Grenada Police Force cast their ballots on Monday, June 20th. The votes will be tabulated with the rest of the electorate on Thursday. Finally, in the news, bamboo, an ornamental plant, if left unmanaged, can become invasive to other species of crops. 
inhibiting production and lessening farmers' income. As such, the Ministry of Agriculture is looking forward to its control through promotion and awareness of natural and environmentally friendly methods. Field officers have been selected as the foot soldiers to educate the farmers on the practices that were introduced to them by Aidan Photo, Sustainable Land Management Specialist at the United Nations Development Program, UNDP Country Office. According to the UNDP rep, the idea is to get farmers to understand this safer alternative, moving away from the traditional method of burning. The traditional method of controlling bamboo usually practiced by farmers is burning and burning release massive doses of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. As you know, that gas contributes significantly to global warming and methods of um, getting the same result without polluting the environment is crucial. You liberate the crops, as you see the bamboo was obviously covering the nutmeg and the cocoa crops. Now that the bamboo is removed, the, these crops can capitalize on more sunlight, which they can use to manufacture the food, and production will definitely increase. So that would put some more money into their pocket. Um, when it comes to the social part of it as well, you know, and even you, you, you can um, more freely move around and um, enjoy yourself in a more you know, equitable manner. Photo was speaking with the Ministry of Agriculture's PR unit at the first training held on the farm of Belmont Estate in St. Andrew on Wednesday. Senior Agricultural Officer Lauren St. Louis speaks of the hands-on approach to train the officers. Here, this is a, a greener um, option. This is a more climate smart option, a more sustainable and resilient option for us to learn and to share with the farmers and with our officers. So we, um, we have a practical, we've had a, um, a theoretical part, a short um, session, and now we're having practical part where our officers are learning how to actually do the, all of the things that are, are um, part of that, are those methods in a hands-on manner. Andrew Newell, manager of Belmont Estates Farm, is looking forward to the implementation of this method. You have a proliferation of bamboo between, and um, once the method that we use here is good, then you will have to cut and then have regroups in the field, but you will control it or manage it in such a way that you could move on to others rather than coming back to the area where you had done already. So it will be, be very beneficial to the farm. Once you manage it properly, you will allow sufficient sunlight to come in. You will, your plants in the vicinity of the stool will be able to use the sunlight in the form of photosynthesis and um, manufacture more food. So the production would rise. That story just ended the national report for Wednesday, June 22nd, recapping the top story. Parliamentary Elections Office assures that no registered person will be denied the right to vote. On behalf of the entire news and production team, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time. All right. Thank you very much, Rakesha and the rest of the team at the GIS. All right, um, I think the, the, we might have received the latest COVID-19 COVID dashboard. I'm just pulling it up right now. So we could probably tell you that before we get into the weather for tonight. How about that, huh? Okay, yeah, so as, as, as per the Ministry of Education and its latest dashboard of health, as per the latest dashboard, there are now 20 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of a total of 165 tests that were done today. The test positivity now stands at 12.1% and uh, there were 27 recoveries. As a result, there are 128 active cases of COVID-19 on record here in Grenada. All right, <clears throat> three persons in hospital, two moderately ill and one severely ill. And so that's it for the dashboard. Now for a look at uh, the weather, we can tell you that the, okay, for, uh, 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 uh. okay, so the Met Office, they are monitoring some systems. 
well, what nothing to talk about right now. But for our local weather, the weather is expected to be partly cloudy with few light showers. Minimum temperature tonight, 24.5 degrees Celsius. Winds east, not easterly to east, south easterly at 12 to 22 miles per hour. Seas slight to moderate with waves 2 to 4 feet in open waters. And for Thursday, we can tell you that the weather is expected to be partly cloudy with few light showers. Maximum temperature for tomorrow, 31 degrees Celsius, minimum 25. Winds east, not easterly to east, south easterly at 12 to 22 miles per hour. Seas slight to moderate with waves 2 to 4 feet in open water. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that's it right there. By the way, let's say hello to a few people. First off, let's go to um, the folks on the YouTube. Tallman, Suzanne, um, Greens, uh, my mom, who else is there? Um, <laughs> there? There are quite a bit of you there, so we're saying hello to you. And likewise, we'd like to say hello to the folks <coughs> who are there on uh, Facebook. Um, we have uh, Karen. How are you doing, Karen? And uh, Michelle and Avril. Othlin. Um, <laughs> um, Bermuda, what's going on? Avril, Doyas, Delian, uh, Eunice again, then Michelle again, then Avril again, then Kirin and Claire, and Marilyn, and Shum Shum, what's going on? Praise and worship, Claire again. Um, and those of you who are there, you're not seeing anything, but you're there, we're saying hello to you. You know, some of you have not yet shared the program. I mean, uh, there are a couple of hundreds of you here. I would like to encourage you to please just share the program once. All right, so that other people head Della, what's going on, and Teresa. Uh, that's all I'm asking of you right now. Yvonne, how are you? All of you here, please just share the program once, giving someone else an opportunity to view, is, if that's okay with you. Yes, I would like to ask that to you. Yeah, and I'm sitting down with, and I'm watching. And I'm taking it personal, if you ain't share. I watch, and I listen, I tell you all the face. We're getting on these days because we could see who shares and who doesn't. And if you sh don't, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> Reb Robbie, I don't see you in a while. What's going on? Suzette, what's going on? Oh, Suzette, today. Oh, oh, where they go? All right. So, um, there are quite a bit of you. Let me see the numbers go up in terms of your, the shares. I'm watching now. All right, let me see the numbers go up. At least I will go, at least I will sleep good tonight. Yeah, let me belly go with me tonight. Yeah, you know at least I will sleep good tonight. I want to see. There are 300 of you, 300 and what, 320? I would like to see 320 shares. As I ain't going nowhere, I'm keeping up all, all night. I, I, I'm giving jokes, I'm singing songs, I'm going. <laughs> so all you, just share the program. My, my whole thing, hey Velma, my whole thing is so that, you know, people who try to get the program all the time. Okay, Claire says, Mikey, I shared to my niece in Trinidad. Teresa, who did you share to? Did you share, Velma, did you share? Did you share? Somebody else, um, did you share? Somebody who's watching right now, did you share the program? Sharing the program is like sharing coconut water. Maureen, how you go, how you going? It's like sharing coconut water. You know what I mean? Yeah, so share the business. Share the business. Safrina, how are you? Uh, Serafina. That's a nice name. Kwashi. When I share, I never get my credit. Someone gets credit every night. So if you have not gotten credit yet, your time is, well, maybe you ain't rich yet, Florence, because we give random, random, we give random credits, all right? Um, Liz, so because you don't get credit, you don't share. So you only share because there's an offer of credit. That's what you're telling me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Kathy, how are you doing? We just go and we get a random person and we reward them some credit. There are hundreds of people on the program. Um, uh, so if you have not gotten yet, well, your time is not, you know, because it's random. All right, um, who else is it? Hey, Meryl says she shared, so that's good. Who else? Sharon, Sharon, you shared? You did? Um, Ebony, you shared? Okay, Ebony, what's going on? I haven't seen you in a while, Ebony. Nikki. Okay, Nikki says, Mikey, I share a lot of times. That's good to know. I will, I will never get credited, do I? Yeah, Maureen, blessings to you, right? 
Anne Marie Olive says, Mikey, the only time I'll share is when you call my name. Okay. Florence. So if I call her name, that's when I'll share. But I don't get to see everyone who is here unless you're conversing. I wouldn't know that you're there. All right, Paul. Hey, Paul, what's going on? <laughs> Jabba said, I cheered until I almost ran out of coconut water. Nicholas. Nicholas says, I did as well. So thank you, Nicholas. So good. It's like a sharing party right now. I like it. Okay, so guys, take care of yourselves. And remember, our broadcast will start at 5. All right, Paul, when I see you there. All right, we in business, eh, partner? Good. Paul, make sure you share, man. All right. Um, boy, what's the name here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boyvin. Boyvin, bless up yourself, all right? So, Velman, all the others, all take care of yourself, Liz, and, and all the, the people. Uh, take care, okay? And we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we're going we're gonna to show them how this is done um, tomorrow, God's willing. We shall show them how it's done! Okay, take care. May God bless you and your family. Until, take care, take care, take care. In five, four, three, two, one, we all say, Jia! No, bye.